and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I spent £300 on Nasty Gal to see what it was about. I actually did spend more than £300. I, I don't know exactly how much I spent because on Nasty Gal you can only actually order 20 things at once. So then you have to go on and order like extra things on a different order. So I did end up spending over £300 and I don't have a total of like how much I spent because it doesn't come with like a little slip kind of thing like Pretty Little Thing does but I spent £300 on this girl nevertheless to see what the hype was about I've heard so many people talk good things about Nasty Girl and then I've also heard a few terrible things about Nasty Girl so I thought I would give it a try for myself and splurge some cash and let's see what we can get so everything that I bought in this video is something that I would want to wear um, so it's obviously everything that I've like bought with the intention of wearing so I obviously do already like it but whether it's Kim and I actually do like it and I like the quality and things like that we are yet to see well you are yet to see I already know if you are new here then make sure you do subscribe the button is just down below and also don't forget to turn on the bell to be notified every single time that I upload a new video also excuse my hair in this uh, it's kind of natural so it's a little bit crazy uh, and I also have my glasses on my head I just have them there because it's keeping my hair on my face but yeah without further ado if you do want to see what I picked up from Dusty Girl and if I rate it or I don't rate it then just keep on watching we will start with the first thing that I'm pulling out the bag and that is this fur coat. Now, when I first got this through the post and I first tried it on, I absolutely loved it. But as I've had it sitting around for the past few days, I've learned that I don't actually like it as much as I thought. Um, I got this in a size A and it's just a teddy bear fur aviator coat, you know, just a normal coat. And I thought this would be really cute, really perfect for winter. But it's kind of not growing on me as much as I thought it would. So I will put obviously overlays on the screen, you've probably already seen it on me right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know, there's just something about it that I just don't really like. And I'm pretty sure this was half price. I think this was £30 instead of £60, which is what made me buy it. Because I was like, ooh, getting a bag in here, it's half price. But yeah, it's, I, it's like not really growing on me. So I think I'm going to send this back. Um, so... Yeah, unfortunately, this, it is a hit, but it is also a miss, because I did like it, but I've also now decided that I don't like it, so it's kind of like an in-between. Next up, I have this blouse, which just looks like this, so this is kind of like a cheetah print, and this has a little elasticated, like, bell bottom sleeves, so like, where it, like, puffs out, it's not really bell bottom, but I don't know how to describe it. It's just where like it like cuffs and then like it look, kind of looks like a bell. This is one of those puffy like on the shoulder tops and it also swoops down just a little bit. Now I actually really do like this however I find that the body is a little bit short however nevertheless I think I'm going to keep it anywhere um, and again this is one of those tops you can dress up just out. I can wear this on a night out. I really love the quality of it. The fabric is really really nice and as well one thing that I actually like about it is the like square neck thing for obviously the shoulders isn't too wide. I always have it where it's too wide so it, they just never fit but this actually fit really well and like I said again got it in a size 8 uh, so yeah this is definitely a hit. Next up we have this satin dress, so it is in kind of like a cream champagne -y sort of colour and it has like that cow neck. Now I used to hate cow necks because I don't have boobs so when the cow neck sags I'm just flashing everything. However these actually have adjustable straps so I can pull it up high enough that when I lean over my little girls don't fall out. which. I actually really, really like, and this is a really nice fit as well. I got this in a size A. I think on their site they have like a little option where you can like do like fill in your sizes and things like that, and then it like suggests the best size. And for me, it just kept suggesting a size A. Um, this just fit really nice, but is a little bit baggier than what it would usually be if I got it from like Pretty Little Thing or something. Um, but I do like that because it means I've got room for when I'm drinking alcohol for me to blur or when I'm going out for a meal I've got room to blur like and I'm not feeling like I'm being suffocated so I do like that super inexpensive as well I'm pretty sure it was probably about 13 
£14, something ridiculous like that. Um, I think it's really good quality as well. So yeah, I absolutely love that. And whilst we're speaking about satin dresses as well, I've actually already worn this one. You will have seen this on my Instagram. I've been waiting to film this haul for a long time. I've just never got around to it. And it is this black satin dress. Again, with like the cow um, leg. Again, absolutely love this. This crosses at the back, um, like so. And like I say, you'll have seen this on my Instagram already. I wore this when I went out in Leeds um, for Sophie's birthday present. Again, in a size A. Um, this one does go a little bit longer. However, I did pull it up just a little bit with um, a bell. And yeah, you can just dress it down, you know. You can wear this with some chunky boots. You can wear it with, like, a jacket. You can wear it without a jacket. You can put a t-shirt under it. Absolutely love these dresses. And again, really good quality. Not super tight. It's got a little bit of stretch to it as well, which is really nice. So this is definitely a hit. The next top that I have is this um, green flower style top. And again, it's one of them tops where it's like puffy on the shoulders and then it has a square neck. However, this square neck, you do actually tie yourself because it has little straps here. And again, this fits perfectly. It doesn't fall off my shoulders. Um, I'm undecided whether I want to keep this because I do like it a lot. But I'm just trying to think when I would wear it. I'm probably going to end up keeping it, let's be real. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love this. The quality is so nice as well. Like, even on the back, it has, like, extra, like, material. Um, maybe so it's not see-through. I don't really know. But this is really nice, and the material is really nice and soft. Again, I got this in a size A, so, again, not really much more I can say to it, because I do like it. Um, it's a hit. Next up we have another coat, so this is a very long trench coat. Now, when I saw this online I was thinking, oh my god, this is perfect, I've wanted a trench coat for a while, again, I got it in a size A, my usual size, but when it came, I've got to say, I was very disappointed, it wasn't how I expected it to look, um, I just didn't like the way that it fit on me, um, I just, yeah, I just didn't really like the way that it looked when it was on. It is made from like a cord sort of fabric. The fabric itself is actually really good quality. Um, apart from a few like wispy little bits of thread, but I feel like you get that with absolutely any brand. Um, but yeah, other than that, I just didn't really like how it sat on me. It just worked. I just didn't really vibe with it. Um, but I have always wanted one. It's still a nice coat. It's just not something that I'm going to wear. Um, so this is definitely going to be getting sent back and therefore is a miss. Next up, we have a really, really cool top. This top is so extra, like literally so extra, but I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm definitely going to keep it because I love it so much. But just trying to find the place where I'm actually going to wear it might be a little bit difficult. But it is this top here. Um, you can't really see it. But it is with mesh. So it has little mesh sleeves here. And then it has like a little V-neck um, front line you'll see when I try it on. And it does puff out quite a little bit as well. And I absolutely love this. The quality of this as well is so nice. There's so many layers of the mesh and I don't know I just absolutely love this and I'm not seeing anything like this anywhere else either I thought it was quite original um, I got this in a size small and like I said I absolutely love it it's got adjustable straps as well it's just finding the place where I can actually wear this and not look too extra it's not mesh on the inside it's got um, a little bit of fabric as well so the mesh isn't going to irritate your skin but even saying that the mesh is super soft I hate when I get things and the mesh is like really like hard and like crinkly and just not very nice. Next up we have a dress. So this is literally just a really basic dress which just looks like this. It's a little, it's ribbed. Um, however, this I did get in a size 6. I don't know why I decided to get this in a size 6 and I got everything else in an 8. But I did, um, and I absolutely love this, and I think this in winter with some boots, like some knee highs or even just some short boots with a nice fluffy coat will look so nice. And this is so figure hugging as well. Absolutely love this. And this isn't really a style of dress that I would usually go for, but I absolutely love the colour and I think it looked amazing on the model. So again, another hit. Next I have this denim dress like pinafore thing which looks like this. So it kind of has like a cheetah print on again but it has a bright yellow background. Now I absolutely love how this fits and I absolutely loved it when I tried it on. It looked really nice on the model. Um, I got it in a size 8. Fits lovely. However, I do think I am actually going to send it back because I don't think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. But 
In terms of the quality, absolutely amazing. Again, all the stitching is so perfect. And like this little detail here, like they've covered the raw edges. You know what I mean? They've not just left them hanging out like most brands would. Literally, I can't get over how good the quality Nasty Girl is. Um, literally, love this. Just, I don't think I'm going to get a look enough use out of it, enough wear out of it, um, so I think I am going to send this back, but nevertheless it is still a hit because I absolutely love it. So we have this top which looks like this and then ties at the back, um, this is like a cowlick style top, um, it's like that silky material, however this really did not cut it. This just sagged in all the wrong places um, and again I got this in a size eight um, I just really did not like this and the quality of this just doesn't feel as nice as like the dresses because it's quite a bit thicker it's not like an actual like satin kind of thing it's a lot more thicker I think if you had a bit more boobage this would probably fit a lot nicer but because I don't have a lot of boobage uh, this just didn't really fit as nice as I would have liked it to um, so unfortunately this is gonna be a miss Next up we have a co-ord. So the co-ord consists of a top which just looks like this. It's a little bit creased because obviously it's been in the bag. Um, but it's just a plain like cami top. It kind of swings around and this top fits so lovely. And if this top was on its own, this would be a hit. Well, it's kind of like a hit and miss. It's an in-between because I absolutely love the top and I do love the trousers. This is what the trousers look like. The three quarters, um, they go out to the sides, like so, same material, but the waist of these is so ridiculously small for a size eight. Like, literally, this is so tight and because of the material, it doesn't have a stretch in it at all. So, unfortunately, it is a miss because of these, like this waist just does not give any wear. Next up we have another like going out dress, so this time it is a bodycon dress and it has long sleeves and like a ruche material um, with the netting and this is what it looks like for me holding it up. Absolutely love this dress. Again, the square neck detailing isn't too wide that the shoulders come falling down. Um, I got this in a size A absolutely love it the sleeves as well are not too tight i often find with like pretty little thing that whenever i buy something with like netting or like fishnet and uh, whatever they obviously call it they always do the sleeves so goddamn tight that i literally can't get my arm in it but these have a little bit of stretch you can get your arms in it's not too tight and i absolutely love it and the ruche detailing as well hides your little pouch when you've been drinking which i absolutely love so this is definitely a hit Fits me in all the right places and I absolutely love it. Next up we have this shirt. Now I used to wear shirts like this ages ago. Um, we actually weren't mine, they were Sophie's. And I did really like those. So it's just a shirt like this and it ties low at the bottom. And obviously you can wear it with like a bralette or if you're really confident you can wear it without. Um, and I do really like the pattern of this. The material is really nice, it feels really nice. Feels quite luxurious to be fair. Um, however, I just did not like how this sat when it was on. It was a little bit too um, open for me, so I, I would literally have to wear like a bralette underneath. Um, but then even still, I found that it was still really open past the bralette. Um, so unfortunately, this is a miss for me, but it is still really nice and I did get it in a size eight. I just wish that the tie for the bow was a little bit higher up. Next up, we have a, another maxi satin dress. Now, when I looked at this online I thought oh this is going to be really cute it's got a little bit of lace like outlining like the bralette area uh, and I was like this is going to look really cute with some like chunky boots like some Doc Martens maybe a leather jacket something like that um, but when it came and I tried it well first of all when it came it's completely different fabric to what I thought it was whether it was described as this fabric online I can't remember I don't think it was I think it was literally just described as satin but this satin has like little like indentations like it has like a rough feel to it I don't know how to explain it it's got like lines what's ribbed that's what I'm on about it's got like little tiny ever so tiny ribbed detailing um, which wasn't the idea that I had in my head and when I tried it on I literally looked like I was wearing my grandma's nighty that's the only way I can describe it and I think honestly if you could pull these style of dresses off it will look absolutely amazing but 
For someone like me who doesn't wear this style, I just really cannot pull it off. It looked disgusting. Like, it was absolutely horrible. So this is definitely a no-no from me. Finally, moving on to shoes. This is the last part of the video that I have. So first off, I ordered these boots, um, which I thought were really, really cool. Um, and they came and, not gonna lie, the quality isn't as nice as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it kind of feels, I don't know, I just don't like the way that the boot feels. Um, and also, it did actually come broke. Um, one of the hooks is missing. Nevertheless, I do like them, and I do like how they look. They look really cool on, but the quality was just not up to scratch. Um, for what I wanted and the next pair that I have are these trainers that I absolutely love these trainers like look how nice they are they kind of have like a baby blue icy white um, colour with like a cream and I absolutely love these they kind of give me like Balenciaga that style of shoe vibes however these again I got in a size 6 but these were a little bit on the smaller side of a 6 and um, so I maybe need a 7 like they just didn't really fit uh, properly like my toes were like touching the airless so that is why I'm going to be sending them back but I absolutely love them the quality is really nice for you know cheap shoes I don't know how much exactly these were but they were inexpensive um, and like I said they do kind of look like a dupe of Balenciaga's just by like the bottom and like just the actual shoe itself um, so I do really like them but I'm not going to be keeping them because they don't fit um, so unfortunately they're a miss but they're also a hit because if I had them in a size that fit, I would be keen. And then finally, to end the video on a positive note, we have these heels. Now, I have actually worn these heels as well, as you will have seen on my Instagram. I wore them with the satin dress. Absolutely love these heels. Now, I never normally get my toes out because I just hate feet. Hate feet, hate toes. But I picked out these, which have literally the tiniest little strap ever but I absolutely love them. They're so comfy as well. I was wearing these all night long. I did get a little bit of a blister, but that was because it was the first time I was wearing them. And I've worn them since and I've not had blisters. Got a really chunky heel. So, you know, it doesn't hurt your ankles. You're not balancing all your weight on like a little peg. Like, these are so nice. And these are in a size six. They were that nice that I actually ordered them again in black. Um, so I'm just waiting for them to come. But yeah, absolutely love them. They're in like a lilac velvet finish. And yeah, like I said, absolutely love them. So they are definitely a keep and definitely a hit as like I said I've already worn them. That is it for today's video. I really hope you did enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever ordered anything from Nasty Girl. I think my general conclusion to this video is it's definitely very good quality. Um, they definitely put a lot more care into their products than other brands do and there is a lot more in this haul that I did keep and I'm definitely going to continue to keep ordering from them. It was just a lot of the things that I ordered just didn't fit right. It just wasn't something that I actually liked when it came. Um, just didn't fit, like I said. And it just was a little bit different to how I thought it was going to be. So overall, I do really enjoy buying from Nasty Girl. And like I said, I'm going to continue to buy from them. Um, and let me know as well if you want to see more hauls um, like this where I spend loads of my money and then I review it. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, as always, remember to please give it a huge thumbs up down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you very, very soon with another video. Bye!